at the stage to uh, greet you. We have a uh, respected guest and we have brother Hazim that will be introducing them. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Eid Mubarak, inshallah. We would like to welcome uh, Mr. Rob Burton. He is the Oakville uh, Mayor. Thank you so much for your welcome. I'm here to wish you uh, the best of the year and to, uh, I hope, celebrate with you the, uh, the end of Ramadan. And um, I'd like to say Eid Mubarak. Now, um, I also want to thank you uh, for your participation and your engagement in the life of our community and the contributions that you make towards making Oakville successful in our common goal. Our shared common goal, all of us who live in Oakville, is to become Canada's most livable town. And for 12 years now, I've been the change leader that brings Oakville ever closer to that goal. And people have been asking me, but surely we already are the most livable town in Canada. We are already the safest uh, town in Canada. Uh, are you sure we still need to strive to change and improve the town? And what I say is twofold. First, there is always somebody behind you competing with you, trying to overtake your place. So you must always be lifting your goal. You must always be working higher. And the second thing I say to people is, if we ever, reach the point where everyone agrees that we are the most livable town in Canada, I will ask the community to raise the goal and to aspire to become the most livable town in the world. As your chief change agent, it is my pleasure to work with you in the day-to-day -day life of our community. It's been my pleasure to get to know you and to value the contribution that you make and can make. And I hope that our council has demonstrated to all the citizens of Oakville that we are truly able to work with everyone because together, nothing can stop us. And together, we will create the town that everybody aspires to be in. We will be Canada's most livable town. Thank you very much for your efforts and your participation. And onward and upward is the, is the motto of the day. And I'm, I'm taking my remarks, my remarks are partly inspired by the sermon I just heard about the importance of change. So, uh, uh, you know, it's a continuous thing here. We will, uh, we will together transform our town into a beacon to the world. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, we would like to call uh, the federal um, representative, uh, Mrs. Fiona, she, on behalf of uh, John Oliver, the, uh, elect, uh, the MPP, uh, MP for uh, Oakville. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning and thank you so much for your invitation and uh, it's delightful to be here to see so many familiar friends and I'd like to say family uh, that we're here. Um, I bring greetings on behalf of John Oliver, your Member of Parliament from Oakville and talking about change, this is a change. You've got me here today instead of John which um, I'd like to think you like that. Uh, John as we speak is still sitting in the House of Commons in Ottawa where he has been since uh, 10 o'clock last night overnight voting continually thanks to basically an opposition motion and we'll be there until maybe three o'clock tomorrow afternoon so 
I have the honor of representing John Oliver, as Director of Operations. Uh, and John is, I spoke with him very briefly about 6.30 this morning, and he asked me to convey his absolute regrets for not being here and his personal good wishes. Uh, this is a, he so enjoys being part of this community and it, he, he's quite beside himself that he's not here today. So you're gonna have to bear with me. I have some notes from John. Uh, on his behalf, it is an honor to, to be invited to celebrate your an annual event. Uh, and I, we sincerely hope that you've had a peaceful and blessed Ramadan. Ramadan is a month of reverence, generosity, and self-reflection. Most importantly, it is a cherished time for family and friends to gather and give charity to those who are less fortunate. It is this commitment to helping others that Muslim communities across our country of Canada, including right here in Oakville, advocated for Canada to take action in response to the grave humanitarian and security crisis taking place in Myanmar. To help, and I will say this has also been brought, many of you came, met, wrote to, called, and spoke with John. So to help, Canada will dedicate significant funding, 300 million over three years, to address this region's humanitarian development and stabilization needs in a coordinated and timely way. And I think this does remind us all of the common values and harmony and empathy that we all hold dear. So thank you again on behalf of John for inviting me here today as a change. And I wish you all, those celebrating around the world and particularly right here in Oakville, a very happy Eid Mubarak. Quick announcement, please. There is Honda uh, CFHB820 is blocking another car. Would you please, can you move your car? Thank you. CFHB820. And then, right now, would you please, can you welcome the uh, MPP elects for um, Oakville? North uh, for Mississauga Central for Mississauga Lakeshore. Would you please can you come together? Salam alaikum, Aid Mubarak. Aid Al Fitzer. Friends, thank you so much for having us today. My name is Natalia Kusendova, and I'm humbled and honored to be the MPP elect for Mississauga Center. I am joined here by my colleagues today, and we want we, we are here on behalf of our leader, Doug Ford, Premier elect, should I say, Doug Ford, to bring greetings for Aid Mubarak. We want to share a message of change. The Imam's sermon really resonated with me because the message of change is something that our party and our leader has been spreading across Ontario. After 15 years, the people of Ontario were ready for that change. And we are here to reaffirm our commitment. We are humbled by the responsibility that the voters and Ontarians have placed on our shoulders. And we want to reaffirm our commitment that we will deliver on our promises. But today is a day of celebration. As you break your fast for the last time, you know, during my campaign, I've been invited into many of your homes to share iftar dinners. And it, I was truly inspired by the Canadian way that we know how to share in our traditions. So I want to say I admire your perseverance. It takes a lot to, to fast every day for 30 days. And quite a few of my volunteers in my campaign have joined me uh, and actually door knocked while they were fasting. So I was extremely inspired by that commitment. So thank you once again for having us today and please enjoy this beautiful celebration. Good morning, everyone. My name is Effie Triant Philopoulos 
and I am the MPP elect in our new riding of Oakville, North Burlington. So for those of you who are from there, it's my pleasure to actually be able to attend my first visit at the DAR Foundation. I look forward to being able to come in the future and get to know many of you as well. Um, you, you may know that our colleague Stephen Crawford, who's the MPP elect for Oakville, was not able to join us this morning. So uh, on behalf of him and myself, I'd like to thank you very much for this invitation. Looking forward to spending more time with you and getting to know you. And as my colleague Natalia has spoken, uh, we are a, a party and a, a government in waiting very committed to listening to the concerns of our community. We're going to work very hard on your behalf. It is a, a government with many new ideas that we believe will be for the best of our community. So on behalf of our Premier-elect Doug Ford and my colleagues here today, I'd like to thank you. I'd like to thank you for your trust that you've placed in us. And I am committed to ensure that we continue to listen on behalf of the people of Ontario. Aid Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. My name is Rudy Cazetto. I am the MPP elect for Mississauga Lakeshore. It's an honor to be here today to spend this time with you in this beautiful celebration. And I would like just to thank you right now at this present time. They've already spoken on my behalf anyways here. So thank you very much. Thank you. She's uh, representing the Halton Police. Would you please, can you come to the stage? Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. What a beautiful day for a celebration. It is my great pleasure to be here on behalf of Chief Tanner and the Halton Regional Police Service as our community marks the end of the holy month of Ramadan with Eid al-Fitr. It is with pride that I extend to you our best wishes. We like to think that your police service works with you and in collaboration with you to maintain healthy communities, change and peace for all. We know that Halton's Muslim communities make us better, stronger and more prosperous. And we... Thank you. And we have a deep respect for your culture and your dedication to faith. With compliments to you today and for the days ahead, and in the spirit of warmth and partnership, Eid Mubarak. Thank you. for your attention. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, bless your families, enjoy your Eid, celebrate your graduation, celebrate your success. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you, pass our greetings from Dar Foundation to your families and your loved ones. Please remember tomorrow we have the Eid celebration. Tickets are available at the door. There is a group discount on the tickets. Please participate. Join us tomorrow from 12 to 9 p.m. A great opportunity for your children to experience Eid with the group, Eid with the community. We'll see you inshallah tomorrow. Zakam al khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And if we may ask you please to uh, get to your vehicles if you're moving so we can inshallah have a smooth evacuation of the parking lot. I know a lot of you are, have family commitments, so inshallah, let's make this a smooth transition. Jazakumullah khair. How are you? How is everything? What's that? Oh, really? 